volunteers. They fill important gaps ranging from nonprofits to fire departments. But what happens when we rely on them too much? Good evening. I'm Brian Mastry. Staffing for paid jobs is a concern anywhere we look. Businesses, it's no secret, are struggling to hire people. As Marlo Lundak reports, that challenge is also hitting the world of volunteers and public safety. Two years ago, the Irvington Volunteer Fire Department opened and dedicated their second fire station. We saw a need that was going to come up sooner than later into the north side of our district for growth. Nolan Paulson has been with the department for 31 years, and for the last 20, he's been the fire chief. He says the second station has been a game changer for the community and for their volunteers. It's helped us uh, definitely get more equipment out on the road. Um, this, we get more members and stuff like that. It also gives uh, a better advantage to people that live up in that area, a uh, closer place to volunteer to instead of coming all the way down here. The department averages around 1,000 calls a year, but with a community that continues to grow, they expect that to increase by around 150 in the coming year. Our district, we're never going to get any bigger, but we do have areas of growth that can be developed and stuff like that. Um, we're seeing, starting to see more and more uh, subdivisions going in along with commercial development. The one thing we are seeing is more multifamily uh, complexes go in. And that growth means future changes for the department too. Volunteerism is getting harder and harder. Uh, it's more demanding than it was 31 years ago. In the next five years, they expect to move towards having some full-time staff. We've got a couple different programs we're looking to initiate. Uh, some of that being on call, paid on call, um, hourly percentage for people that live outside our district that couldn't normally make the, the, the calls in 10 minutes. Other nearby departments that have made the switch to include full-time members have only benefited their communities. We're getting on scene within four minutes now. Uh, the average used to be eight to nine minutes to, to arrive on scene. So we're, we've cut our response time in half. Paulson says it's a change his department is pushing for, a change that could also help with earlier burnout for members. But paid or not, Paulson knows his staff is dedicated to serving their community. It's the members that you get that have that drive. On your side in Irvington, Marlo Lundak, 6 News.